Breaking news. That breaking news, a Greenwood County woman serving time for killing her boyfriend had her long-awaited day in court this morning, hoping to be given parole, a request that was denied. Tiffany Carroll of Greenwood is serving a 15-year sentence for voluntary manslaughter. Back in 2019, Carroll stabbed her boyfriend, William Johnson, to death. Investigators say she was in an abusive relationship. And a clinical psychologist later diagnosed her with battered woman syndrome. Well, Fox Carolina Zach Kroletsky was at the hearing in Columbia this morning. Zach, what happened in the courtroom? Well, Haley, the entire process took less than 30 minutes, and in the end, the vote was three in favor of parole and two denying parole. But for certain crimes in South Carolina, like the one Carol is in prison for, violent crimes, a two-thirds majority must be reached to grant parole. Now, during this testimony and hearing, Carol and her attorney, Travis Moore, both spoke. Uh, those were the only two people that spoke during the hearing. And the panel board members, five of them, only deliberated for a couple of minutes. Now, there are supposed to be seven board members in South Carolina when we're talking about parole. There's only six filled spots, and one of the six members was out today, we were told, due to a family emergency. Now, there are more than a dozen criteria those board members look at when they are supposed to consider parole. And when they talked about during the deliberation, the violence of the crime that Carol did, talking about stabbing her boyfriend to death, was really a linchpin and a talking point and a decision point for the two members that voted to deny parole in this case. And this decision was one that really came as a shock to Carol's attorney. Now, I was an assistant solicitor. I worked as a law clerk at the Attorney General's office during law school, and I've been in private practice for um, several years now. I've handled thousands of criminal cases uh, as a prosecutor and a defense attorney. I've never seen somebody that I personally believe was more entitled to be granted parole under the circumstances than Tiffany Carroll. So I'm, I'm just shocked that they denied her parole again. And this is a look at how those votes came out. You can see those two votes at the bottom rejecting parole, citing those two criteria as to why they decided to vote to not grant Tiffany Carroll parole. Now, Carroll was already denied parole once before last year. She would be up for parole again next year, being eligible once a year. Her attorney, Travis Moore, told me that they are going to continue to keep fighting. And he said, quote, pursue what he believes is right. For now, reporting live in Columbia, Zach Prelutsky, Fox Carolina News. And Zach, it seems like a quick process there. You said less than 30 minutes. So can board members change their votes in the future at all? Well, Haley, according to the Associate Deputy Director of Parole, Pardon, and Release Services, there are several hearings that are going on today. This is the only day of the month the full board meets for these parole hearings. And until the end of the day when the board adjourns, members can switch their votes. Uh, only time will tell. About 5 or 6 o'clock is probably when that will happen. So we're going to have to wait probably six more hours or so to see if one of those two votes that denied parole will change it. But I'm told it's not a, a common practice to, to change the vote but it's definitely something that is possible. And I'm told you've heard some news regarding the police chief and this parole request. So what did you learn, Zach? Well, during deliberations, one of the board members referenced uh, a statement or, or a piece of information he had in the, his packet. Uh, all the board members are given packets with various letters, uh, facts of the case, stuff like that. And in it, he mentioned uh, not only the violence of the case is a reason he was going to vote to deny parole, but he said there was a letter from the police chief asking for parole to be denied. Now, we have not seen that letter. We are not uh, given access to the packets that the board members of, but that is what one of the two members who voted to deny parole mentioned when he was given his reasons as to why he made the vote the way he did. We appreciate you for these updates. I know you're going to stay on top of this all day. I heard you're going to Greenwood next. We'll be sure to uh, check in with you later. But to get more updates on the hearing and other breaking news throughout the day, you can always download the Fox Carolina News app for free. Just scan this QR code on your screen, and that's how you can get it.